Marshmallow Catapult. Uh, so the main objective of the project is just to be able to show you guys just some of the basic physics concepts, uh, actually motion, so Newton's three laws of motion and how it applies in the real world using the catapult. It's a little device that I made myself out of some popsicle sticks. I'll be showing you guys here in this presentation. And I'm just going to be explaining how the marshmallow was uh, actually able to get into the air okay, and what it took, uh, what it took for it to, to fly. So here I have two prototype designs that I sketched out. Uh, this one ended up being the winner, prototype one. Uh, it just consists of two popsicle sticks being wedged open with some other popsicle sticks and a spoon uh, also uh, strapped onto the top one. And this is where you would uh, place the marshmallow. This was very similar. This one had uh, the popsicle sticks here as the base with the clip and the popsicle stick was connected to it, but I ended up going with the first one. So there's four materials. We have popsicle sticks, rubber bands, plastic spoon, and a marshmallow. And this was a sequence of construction. So first we had to, uh, I went ahead and, and stacked five popsicle sticks on each other and I secured them with rubber bands on, uh, on both sides here. I'll show you guys actually. So this one, um, this one was just stacked on each other and there's two rubber bands on each side and it's just wedging the, these two popsicle sticks. And then we have a spoon that's connected to the top one and the marshmallow is waiting to get launched. So this is the device. Um, I'm sure you guys have wondered, you know, I, I wish I had a catapult uh, with, with uh, the ability to throw a marshmallow at me. So I'll just be showing you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply downward, uh, a downward force, downward pressure on the spoon. And what that's going to do is that's going to create what's called uh, elastic potential energy that's going to get stored as, as it goes all the way to the bottom. It's, it's storing a lot of potential energy, elastic potential energy. And as soon as I release my finger, that downward uh, force, that marshmallow is going to fly. It's going to turn. It's going to turn uh, into kinetic energy, and uh, ultimately have an uh, upwards acceleration of the marshmallow. And uh, from this concept, we know. I mean, the, the the more the more tension that I apply, the more potential energy that is stored, the more kinetic energy that is going to be uh, resulted from it. Just like uh, Newton's three laws of motion. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the marshmallow at me so you guys can see that uh, it works. So check it out. Let's try to catch it. Ooh. It works. And that was my project. Thank you.